So now that we have a few more rules for integrating trigonometric functions, I want to work a couple of examples using those rules. So the, the relevant rule for example one that I've written here is that the integral of tangent of x, so we figured this out using substitution, but the antiderivative is, I'm going to actually write this down. So if tangent x can be written as sine x over cosine x, this is actually one of those integrals of the form 1 over u du, where if u is cosine of x, then du is negative sine of x. So this sine x dx is actually equal to negative du. And so you end up with negative integral of 1 over u du, which is equal to natural log of the absolute value of u, which is cosine x. Okay, so I just talked through the derivation, but the important thing to remember is just that the integral of tangent of x dx is equal to negative absolute value of cosine x plus c. So I'm going to get rid of the uh, what I wrote here, which helps us derive that formula. Um, it's best if you just just know this antiderivative, but it's nice also to know where it came from. So if you draw a blank when you're taking a test and you don't have access, you're not able to, to look up that antiderivative, um, then you can figure it out real quick on the spot by writing it as sine over cosine and doing a u substitution. Okay, but so there's that there's that rule. One other complication that we're going to face in this problem is that it's not just tangent of x that we're integrating. It's tangent of theta over 2. So because there's this inner function, so if it's not as simple as just your uh, independent variable inside of your tangent function, then technically we need a uh, u substitution here where we can let u equal theta over 2, which let me point out theta over 2 could be written as 1 half times theta. And that helps when you're thinking about the derivative for the differential here, du, would be 1 half times d theta. The derivative here is just 1 half times the differential of theta, differential of your independent variable. Okay. Well, notice, so on the end here, we don't have one half d theta, we just have d theta. So we could multiply both sides of this equation here by 2. And that would tell us that 2 du is equal to d theta. So this original integral, I wish I had room to keep this rule here, but I don't. So don't forget it. When it's time to integrate tangent, don't forget that the antiderivative is negative natural log of cosine. Okay. So now we're ready to integrate this thing. Uh, let's write it in terms of u first. So this is the integral of 3 plus tangent of theta over 2, which that's where we're doing our, our u substitution. So tangent of u times d theta, which is equal to 2u, times 2u, ah, 2du, sorry, there. Okay, so the 2 is just a constant multiple. We might as well bring that out front. And then we're ready to take some antiderivatives. So the antiderivative of 3 with respect to u will be 3u plus the antiderivative of tangent which will be negative natural log absolute value of cosine of u plus c. So our final answer, I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 2 here. So this is 2 times 3 is 6 times u which is theta over 2 minus 2 times natural log absolute value of cosine of u, which is theta over 2 plus c. And then of course we should reduce this to 3 theta 
I'm not going to rewrite the whole thing, but there's your final answer. Nah, I said that, and then I feel a little lazy about it. There you go. Nice, pretty final answer. So here's a second example to consider. Now with this one, we can go straight to the u substitution. If we let u equal this entire denominator, u equals 7 plus cosine of t, then the derivative du would equal 0 plus derivative of, derivative of cosine, which is negative sine of t times dt. Now you might also notice, okay, inside this integral, what we have is sine of t. So this is 1 over 7 plus cosine of t, and then you've got sine t dt, which sine t dt, if we multiply both sides by negative 1 here, is equal to negative du. So this is equal to negative 1 times du. And so this is the integral 1 over u times negative du. I'm going to write that as negative 1 times du. So we can bring this negative 1 out front. And then you've got just the integral of 1 over u, which is natural log of the absolute value of u, where u is 7 plus cosine of t. I didn't leave myself enough room again. That's 7 plus cosine of t. And there's your final answer.